So you want to add 3D motion tracked text or logos to your footage. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to do this in After Effects. First, we have our footage. Here we have a shot of Riga Old Town and I want to add some establishing shot text that tells us where we are. So for example, somewhere, let's start from here and we'll end here. So that is our shot and we shall add it to a new sequence right here we have our shot and now we shall do some tracking so here in after effects uh, we have this tracker panel if you don't have it then go to window and click tracker so it will appear on probably on your right side so let's do track camera i'm using the m2 mac mini with 16 gigabytes of ram um and it's totally fine it can do this quite fast well it took around 25 seconds to do this track so now it has solved the camera and we have these colorful x's so what this means is um, these are tracking points. We have them all over the image. You want to choose the green tracking points because those are the best tracked ones. With color, it shows you how well the tracking point has been tracked. The more points you choose, the better the track will look. We have selected seven points. And we shall right click on our mouse and create text and camera. So now we have a text right here. So as we can see, it's right here. It's a 3D text. We can move it around and it's already tracked like this. It's already here. We need to make it uh, look better. So let's, let's put it in the correct perspective. And um, actually we want something different here. Let's type Riga Old Town. We have added it to the perspective. So how does it look right now? Well, it's pretty good, but we want it to be maybe for closer to camera. So we actually go past it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So basically, that's it. That's how you do the tracking for the sh for any shot. You can add these decks to buildings, next to buildings, and uh, to make it look even more natural, you add motion blur by clicking this button right here. And as we can see, the text has motion blur now. And um, that will make it look more natural because if we are moving past something with speed, there should be some motion blur. That's why we use ND filters for drone shots and stuff like that. So that is how you can do 3D motion tracking in After Effects. Add some cool text layers or logos or whatever you want onto your drone shots, phone shots, whatever shots you're capturing. And uh, yeah. Hopefully this was useful. If it was, hit that like button, share this video, subscribe for more drone related content and thank you for watching and see you in the next video.